Hey guys, what's going on? Steve and I are in the garage right now and we're getting ready to do an oil change on a 2011 Hyundai Sonata. This has a 2.0 turbo in it. We got our oil filter through an access hole here and our drain plug is through here. And this, the drain plug is a 17 millimeter. And uh, we have a, our oil filter wrench is an 80 millimeter that we're gonna put on there with an extent, with a socket extension. And um, so we'll get going on this now. trying to not make a mess. <laughs> we got our drain plug, we made sure it's clean. The gasket stayed stuck to the pan up in here. Tony can see it. Yep. It's nice and clean. So we're gonna put our plug back in, snug it up. It's a metal um, seal gasket that's on there. We got our 17 millimeter, we're gonna snug it up. And we're gonna get that oil filter off. Okay, we're tight with that. I'm gonna wipe everything down nice and dry. Okay, that's all clean. And we have an 80 millimeter wrench here for the oil filter wrench. Got it right here. I'm gonna come up, hook onto it, and we're gonna let it drain down. Take the filter down now. So we're looking up and making sure the gasket came off in the old housing and it did it's nice and clean. A couple of drips of oil, put them on our new gasket here. Slide this out in place. We're gonna tighten it by hand and then we'll put the wrench on it to just give it a little snug. That's all we need. Wipe it down dry. And while the car is up in the air, or if you're servicing it, you always want to check your tire pressures, and give the car a look over. You know, if you're doing a 3,000 interval or a 7,000 mile interview if, interval, if you're doing synthetic oil, you want to give everything a look over on the car. You know, when you get underneath the hood, you're checking belts and hoses, and all your fluid levels, air filter, and we already filled up our tire pressures on this, making sure it doesn't need to be rotated, they're good. We'll check the front end on it and make sure everything is uh, in good working order. Take the whole cap off, it's located in here. Get that off. Got our oil filter in here, I mean our funnel in here. And in there. Does this take 530? Yep, 530. We've got the full synthetic. And pour it in slowly so we don't make a mess. And we'll put the four in, we'll run it, and then we'll check it, make sure it takes the five. Let me start? Yeah, we can. I'm just gonna set the cap on while I start it. All right, we've got no leaks. It all looks good. There is no training dipstick that we can check. So shut it off, check our oil level. Okay, and it's low, so we're gonna dump that last quart in it, so it's gonna take the full five. Okay, we're up within the check mark and it's still draining in, so we're right in the middle where my fingernail is in here. So the level's good. We're gonna just put the cover back, caps back on it tight. And we're all good. 